Hi guys, uh, this is a video about uh, ripple control and um, I will show you how this works. Um, theory and uh, practical, I have got a, a photo to show you. Alright, so first of all, um, yep that's fine, sorry about the noise. Um, right, let's start off with the um, uh, regular 50 hertz sine wave. Um, this is what they look like just here. 50 hertz goes up and down. Um, I will include quite a few links in this video to uh, Rodolco's videos of um, ripple control. He has an actual oscilloscope hooked up to um, a transformer showing the actual sine wave, so that's quite cool. So this sine wave is a 50 hertz sine wave. It's 10, I think it's got the little ripple that stands for the 10,050 hertz and it just really ripples across the um, the sine wave just here um, at around 1.1 to 2 volts um, it's injected in um, uh, various ways either at a 33 or 11kV substation so usually um, at 33kV I'm pretty sure via a motor spinning a generator that generates that um, that 10,050 hertz. I'll just get some extra lighting here. There we go. Um, 10,050 ge uh, hertz generator or different frequency because some decabit uh, receivers um, have different uh, types of frequencies they run at. I'll give you an example here 475 hertz, 371 hertz, I got that off another video, and 10,050 hertz which the, f uh, the one that I'm going to show you in the photo relies on. 475 is another one that I, um, another property that um, I have seen. Um, so yeah, it, the signal gets injected through 33 kV and it goes across the grid to 11 kV gets hooked up, goes straight through that transformer, and that, uh, that's a, that's how I think how it works. It may be different in other countries, but in, New, in the New Zealand system, I think that's how it works because um, it'd be kind of useless to um, uh, to have it at um, individual houses. Um, so it's spread throughout the whole grid system and the. Um, and the, uh, the receivers that pick up a certain signal on a certain channel, which I'll be talking about soon, um, will get triggered and then they'll turn on um, off uh, just um, uh, loads like hot water, night store heaters and um, other, um, other, uh, other systems like that. So it's mainly uh, just underfloor heating night store, which is the same thing, night store heaters and um, Underfloor heating is a bit different the way it works, but they both use um, they are all in the electrical system So it's it, yeah, it's mainly hot water and night store heaters, but yeah these days. It's just hot water So it goes through the transformer to these houses and um, one of these houses will probably be yours And that's your meter board just there And I'll show you in here. It's just your main switch fuse meter. Sorry for the bad quality um, and there's a Wega decabit uh, ripple controlled receiver which is this one here and um, this is just the nameplate get some more light on here um, sorry about the lines as well that's just the, the camera um, so usually actually this is not good quality I'll show you the picture and I'll talk about it while I have the picture so um, this is how I think how it works and um, I'll leave a few videos in the a few links in the description to videos that I quite like. Anyway, here's the picture. I printed out. Um, this is my one. This is the one that I have at my place, or well, not my place. It's where I live. Um, it's a uh, Zalwega Asta Limited Auckland Decabit RE1 Ripple Control Receiver. Um, switch rating is at 40 amps at 400 volts um, that's and it, uh, the control frequency is 10,050 Hertz at 1.1 volts um, supply voltage 330 volt 50 Hertz that's just normal grid voltage in New Zealand 
and that's the um, switching frequency for this one. Some of them are different, so some of them would be um, 400, uh, I saw it on here, 475, which is another property that I, that I also uh, stay at, and um, another one that I found out on the internet, um, that's uh, 371 hertz. Um, street lights do rely on this type of uh, equipment, but they are on different channels. Right, here are the channels. On top of the um, controller, here's the channel, uh, I would say chip, more. it's not really a chip, it's more like the channel plug. Um, so this one's at 100 on number 4 channel. Some houses uh, would probably, a lot of houses actually, would probably have the same number. Um, because it's not just switching on individual houses, it's switching on a whole group of houses. So I saw a comment on someone's video that would, um, it makes a lot of sense. It's, um, so the power comp what what they're doing here is basically the power company, instead of um, all these hot water cylinders switching on, not at the same time, but if the hot water cylinders weren't controlled by one of these receivers, they would be switching on at any time. And um, the power company um, needs to have some control over their grid, so um, overload can't, uh, overload, um, so they're trying to stop overload. And when overload happens, a lot of bad things can happen, like power cuts and trips, and then a lot of people would be out, and people would be forced to turn off appliances, and blah, 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 blah. Um, so they basically this the purpose of one of these decabit uh, control receivers. This is quite an old one. This is seven 1980s things. There's a uh, there's completely newer ones now. So in the videos that I'll um, leave in the description, you'll be able to see them. Anyway, um, so quite a few houses would have this same thing. Um, I did see some other ones on the internet that had um, channel five, but um. They, uh, they should be nameless um, because I don't really want to be shouting out other people's uh, decabit controller receivers on their channels anyway. Um, so yeah, that's a certain channel that um, this will get, uh, this, that's a certain channel that this, how I think it works is this, that's the certain channel that this, um, that this decabit controller receives and it trips onto the on position switching on uh, a hot water cylinder or other stuff that is connected to this um, equipment. So I will mention that the other place that I have um, uh, we that, that place has around eight circuits of underfloor heating plus three hot water cylinders. You may think it's crazy but at the time, underfloor heating in the 1980s was really the only choice of heating back then. There was no heat pumps or other... Um, well, there was uh, wood stove burners, but um, underfloor heating was the um, sort of way back then, I guess. So, um, yeah, so there's, there's multiple of these in the board. Um, and you will see that in my um, one of my videos. It's called... Um, uh, May, I think it's... Um, main board review or main board anyway uh, I'm going slightly out of hand but that's basically um, the signal code that if that receives and that will be tripped on I'll give you some other examples so other codes that I found on the internet is um, 10005 103 dash 20 so that's 103 on uh, signal on signal 20 or something like that and 100 on signal 5 and 100 on signal 4 which is the one that I just showed you um, so yeah it, they can they can all really be um, so just say 100 on signal 5 um, just say if that was um, maybe the house down the road there um, just there that little green house with the green roof that might be that so when maybe this whole all these groups of houses just here one two and up the street maybe um, may have that same channel that's what I think um, and other houses maybe down the road might be um, a hundred on channel five or so the other pop this is um I'm, I'm not gonna show you who's this one is but that I found this one on the internet this one's actually on the other property that I uh, sometimes stay at 
and um, that's 103 on channel 20 so um, uh, that's basic yeah so maybe the neighbor's house on that one would be on the same channel as that um, maybe a few houses up the street but they have to be on separate channels so the um, coding device can work properly and when as I say coding device on the videos that I'm going to show you uh, that um, they will be in this and they will be in the description they will be there so you can see how that coding device works um, so I think so yeah channel channel 20 on 103 once that gets um once that code reached or once that code is reached uh, the decabit controller will trip and um activate the uh, loads that it's um that they're wired onto uh so yeah um so you'll probably have 10 megawatts in uh on the first um i don't know on the first chan i don't know it's um it's it's a ingenious setup and um, it's it, it works quite well so my street would go on at a certain time so usually I'll tell you um, where I live I'm not going to state where I live but um, where I live uh, around 10 11 maybe 12 a.m. that night um, I can on my other videos that I showed you you can visually hear my meter humming and making certain tones and my lamp flickering uh, so that's um, what's happening there <clears throat> so that's how it works so um, hope you enjoyed the video I don't think I really have uh, other things to tell you but I will leave quite a few videos in the description and um, if you search up Zellweger ripple control receiver on Google uh, click on the Wikipedia page and you'll find some photos there um, from uh, other people and uh, you'll see um, how it works um, so uh, thanks guys um, thank you for watching I'll see you next time give it a like give me some feedback in the comments oh geez a bit tired uh, give me some feedback and um, reply to you as soon as possible and uh, thank you for watching